It's Wednesday, May 2nd, 2012, and I just purchased for myself the Logitech HD Pro Webcam C910. And for your viewing pleasure, I'm about to open it in front of your very eyes. So I actually bought this webcam um, so I could record more unboxing videos just like this in much better quality. So it's a pretty good looking guy. I'm looking forward to getting the box open. Uh, I purchased it at Future Shop in uh, Kitchener, Ontario, Canada. I got a pretty good deal on it. The list price was $89.95 and I found a price match at canadacomputers.com for $66.99 and they matched it and beat it by a couple dollars. So uh, I ended up saving about $24. So I was pretty happy with that. So let's just take a look at the box first. On the left side it lists the detailed specifications on the back, just gives you some uh, boasting about the features. Again, some of the more detailed specs on the right hand side of the box. And on the bottom, the compatible operating systems. It only lists Windows, but my web research showed that it's supported in Linux as well. Uh, which will be the primary operating system that I will use this for. Okay, so let's get the box open. So the box is now empty, and we're left with this. So down here we have, um, here, let's pull it open. So there's just a plastic cover there. So here we have the user's manual, which we will open if I can't figure anything out. But I think I'm pretty smart. I probably won't need that. Um, and this cardboard piece comes out. And it looks like... Trying not to damage the box too badly here. Oh, there you go, it popped right out. And we're left with the webcam here. So it's pretty simple, it's just a USB cable, and then the webcam itself. Um, it's a little bit blurry, but the text on the left side there says Carl Zeiss Tesar, so it's some special lens, an HD 1080p. And the USB cable looks like it's a pretty reasonable length. So I'm able to rotate this a little bit. So one of the other ones that I looked at, um, which was a little less expensive, I think the 525, yes, the Logitech HD 720p C525, um, had a 360 degree rotation, so you could rotate it all over the place. This one just has about, once you put it on your monitor, so it'll probably clip on like this, you can kind of go like that, but not a whole lot of range of motion. Um, so if you need something that's a little more versatile, this isn't the right one. So as I mentioned, this one is 1080p. Um, it's got a high quality lens in it, apparently. It has two microphones, one on each side, whereas the 525 that I compared it to only has one microphone. Um, other than that, it's fairly comparable. There's, I don't think there's any... So oh, so there is some software in the manual there for Microsoft Windows, 
but it should really work with um, um, with any uh, operating system that supports these standard webcams. So I, apparently it works in Ubuntu. I'd assume that it works on um, Mac as well, but I don't have one to try it out on. So there you have it. So once again, this is the Logitech HD Pro Webcam 910. Okay, so here's my Windows uh, laptop, and I'm going to see how well it works to uh, plug in the, the webcam. So here's the webcam. Um, let's try and mount it up on the top. There we go. Just can't really see that. Some better laying. Okay, so there's what it looks like. Um, so now I'm going to plug the USB cable in. Actually, it has a um, Velcro strap on it, which is kind of handy. So, let's plug it in. So it's found a USB audio device, USB video device, there we go, it says it's ready to use, so let's see if it really is. I would really like this to work with VLC media player, so let's give that a shot first. I'm actually going to point the... Uh, camera at something a little more interesting. Well, maybe less interesting. So let's see. I tried this before with the built-in webcap um the built-in webcap <laughs> built-in webcam on this laptop and it crashed on me. So let's hope for some better luck. I'm going to check USB audio device for both the audio and video input. So this is supposed to be able to tune uh, 1080p. Uh oh. Oh, it's another program. Don't worry about that. Okay, let's try it out. Uh oh, better mute it. Whoops. So there is the picture from the webcam. So it doesn't, for some reason, VLC doesn't show the webcam very clearly. Um, or it's really choppy. Um, so I've used it before and uh, um, it hasn't been so choppy. I think if you used it to video chat, for example, you'd be okay. But actually, the picture quality is really nice. Uh, I'm going to try and go full screen here. Say hi to Bella, my cat. So I'm going to give it a whirl with... As you can see, I'm a big Logitech fan. There's my Harmony remote that's served me well for many years. So let's try and... Um, Something I tried the other day as well with my built-in uh, webcam was to record a video on YouTube. Because YouTube supports recording straight from a webcam. And there's just a URL that you go to. Um, YouTube.com slash my underscore webcam. Let's see how well it does. Oh, there we go. Okay, so as you can see, it's much more responsive. Oh, and there's the focus kicking in. So that's something my built-in camera doesn't have, is autofocus. 
Um, can I make it full screen? I don't think so. But you can see how responsive it is. And it's focusing, which is nice. So let's put something close in front of it, see what happens. It's supposed to be able to focus within seven centimeters. My Blackberry here is about uh, 20 centimeters away. Oh, there we go. It actually came into focus pretty well. Not bad. Probably doesn't help that I'm not holding it perfectly still. It's not focusing perfectly on my keyboard here. Um, let's try focusing on the box. Oh, not bad. That came into focus. And now that's in focus. Hey, I'm impressed. Now, mind you, this is the first webcam I've ever used, so I don't know what to expect. But it's certainly a lot better than the one that's built into this laptop. Anyway, so there you go. The Logitech H800 or sorry, my bad, the Logitech Pro Webcam C910. Uh, I think I'm going to be happy with this one. Okay, so now I'm going to try and use my new webcam in Ubuntu Linux. So this is Ubuntu 11.04 um, 32-bit. So I'm, it's, uh, I read on the internet that it's supported, so let's see what happens. About to plug it in. You probably won't be able to see this off screen. And it goes. So unlike Windows, you don't really see a whole lot of um, activity on the screen as it's finding the drivers. Um, so what I'll do, so I'm going to bring up a terminal window. And if we look at the, um, the kernel log, we should see Some message. Oh, this may not be the right logger. Can't remember. No, that's the wrong log. Um, syslog. That's the one. Ah, oh, there we go. Um, I'm going to see if I can make the font bigger here. So you might have a chance of seeing it. Ah, uh, here we go. So you see right here, it's detected. Um, it's detected it, so Linux video capture interface. Um, it's all looking pretty good. Slash sys devices, whatnot. Um, it's registered the camera, and it looks like it's ready to go. Cool. So um, there's a program for uh, Linux that I haven't actually tried before, but I just installed called Cheese, and this is apparently the de facto standard Linux webcam program. So let's see if it works. Oh. Hmm. Not having a whole lot of luck here yet. So you can see the um, the lights on the webcam have actually lit up. So it's kind of like it's colorful on the side here. So it's definitely turned on and getting power. 
but cheese doesn't seem to be able to uh, pick it up yet. Let's try and close it and start it up again. Oh, you know what? It's hung. Alright, I'm going to try rebooting. Oh, oh there we go. It's shut down. Okay, so I'm just waiting for it to reboot now. Uh, it shouldn't take too long. Bear with me. So the webcam is still plugged in. I'm really hoping it's going to work here in Linux because the whole reason I purchased it wasn't so much for my laptop, but rather so that I could hook it up to this computer and use um, Cinerama, I think, is the name of the de facto standard Linux video editing program. Um, so it's always it's been kind of a surprise to me. I haven't found really any decent uh, open source or free video editing programs. Um, I've used Adobe Premiere before. Um, but obviously it's not free. Um, Microsoft Movie Maker is okay, uh, but Cinerama looked very promising, so I'm looking forward to trying that out. Um, but it's only a Linux application. So let's wait for Ubuntu to start up here. Okay. So I noticed in this menu here, underneath printers, there's actually webcam. So I'm going to click on webcam. And it looks like uh, last time I clicked on webcam, it launched Cheese, the um, webcam program for Linux. So let's see if it does that again. Okay, so there's Cheese. Oh, there we go. It just took a photo though instead of a video. So let's click on video mode. So you can see again the lights are on the webcam, they just turned on there. Looks like it might be struggling. The UI is still alive, I can see the um, the shimmer. Yeah. But it's not looking too promising. But you can see, I don't know, hopefully you can see from there, uh, there's actually really good quality in the photo that's taken. Not the best shot of me you've ever seen, and my unfinished basement. So the quality is definitely there. I'm actually very impressed by the quality of this picture. Um, but it looks like it's having a bit of a hard time here, actually recording a video. So let's try VLC. Which, uh... If you recall, when we tried it on Microsoft Windows, it was fairly choppy. Well, let's see if we get any better results here. Uh, video device name. Right.
Alright, I just saw this on the Ubuntu page. So it's asking me for the video device name and I have no idea what to put in for that. Uh, it would be nice if it gave me some options. But, the Ubuntu website was actually fairly help helpful. I looked it up last time, just a few minutes ago. And VLC. Okay, so it was slash dev slash video zero. Alright, let's hit play. There we go. So this is much more responsive than it was on um, on Windows. Still a little bit choppy. Let's make it full screen here. Oh, well, you get some video feedback there. Let's see how well it focuses on my keyboard. Pretty good. My BlackBerry Playbook that's recording this video. So it's not even very good lighting down here, but it's doing a pretty decent job. Anyways, there you go. Logitech I can't even remember the model number because I just purchased it. <laughs> but here you go. So it works in Windows, works in Linux, presumably works in Mac as well. Has really good picture quality. The autofocus seems to work well. Uh, the last thing to try will be the microphone. Um, but we'll leave that for another day. So at this point, I guess it's a recommended buy from me. Um, but I'll be posting some future videos on YouTube eventually someday and uh, you'll be able to see for yourself the quality that comes from this little piece of hardware. Thank you for watching.